Hello and welcome to the chart of the week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 28th of June and the time has just gone 12.40 British summer time. This week's chart of the week is the DAX, or as we call it on our platform, the Germany 30. And the German market has been under a lot of pressure recently over trade concerns. Uh, the United States and the EU already have a slight trade skirmish going on at the moment, but the wider concern is what's going on between Beijing and Washington DC. Uh, Yes, recently, uh, the United States of America has sort of ramped up its rhetoric uh, and trade tensions have become higher uh, with, with China. And only yesterday, uh, the, Fed, the United States made it very clear that, there, that, that the restrictions on Chinese investment in the U.S. isn't going to be as, as tough as traders originally suspected. But the Trump administration has made it, made it very clear that they're not taking a soft stance with, with Chinese investment in the United States. And essentially... Uh, traders are fearful that the the treatment that that China are receiving now is is a is a an indication of what the EU are going to be in store for uh, in the weeks to come. And obviously, Germany is a major manufacturing uh, uh, economy. Uh, German manufacturing is essentially the kind of the barometer of, of European manufacturing. So any kind of trade concerns between the United States and China, traders are viewing. We could see something similar between uh, Washington D.C. and Brussels in the next few weeks or months. So we've seen the German market uh, come off quite heavy in, in recent sessions. And taking a look at the price action of the past few months, the DAX made a very decent recovery between March and May. Then I had a bit of a pullback in May. Uh, but, but the market did start to get a push higher. Notice that the, the high in the middle of June didn't actually take out the high of, uh, of May. It got quite close, but it didn't actually quite get there, which is an, a, a bit of a, a, a worrying sign in itself. And then since, since mid-June, the German market has been consistently pushing lower. Lost a, lost a lot of ground in the past couple of weeks. And we can see a lot of red candles here. And as the market is driving lower, we can see a steady increase in negative momentum. So the market's going lower and there's a steady increase in the MACD histogram of negative momentum. So the momentum is with the sellers. Uh, only yesterday, uh, the German market fell to a level not seen since early April, which is a bit of an indication in itself of which way the market's heading. If you manage to take out yesterday's low of 12,123, we could be looking at it back down towards 12,000, the big psychological number, or perhaps even down as the early April lows have been around the kind of 11,800 area. And if we go south of 11,800, we could be looking at heading back down towards the February lows or the 2018 lows of 11,692. If we do manage to snap higher and push and bounce back in the Euro market, we could look at uh, resistance coming into play in around the 12,600 area. Uh, notice how it acted as both support and resistance uh, in, in recent weeks. And if a certain level has been significant in the recent past, it's, it could be significant in the near future. Pushing north of that, uh, resistance could come into play at this red line here, the trending moving average, which comes into play at 12,787. Once again, it has a bit of recent history of acting as, as, as support and or resistance, so it may be significant in the future. And also, the trade moving average is quite a good barometer whether a market is, in, you know, is it has positive sentiment or negative sentiment. And while it remains south of it, it's likely that, that the sentiment will remain positive. But if we do manage to push higher beyond the trade moving average, the next area to keep an eye out for will be 13,000, a big psychological number. And if we go north of that, we'd be looking towards the, kind of the June and the May highs, even though May was a slightly higher high of 13,200. And if we go north of 13,200, there's quite a good, we could be in for, in for a chance then of retesting the January high uh, of 13,600. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.